Secrets. It's your chance to choose the final two housemates. One boy and one girl. There is not just one relationship in the house. But there is one extraordinary room in the house. But believe it or not, there's still one more secret to be revealed. <laughs> This is a Big Brother Monday Night Special coming to you live from Dreamworld on the Gold Coast. Here's your host, Gretel Galeen. about that? Welcome to a Big Brother show. First night done and now we're on the second night with a show called Game On. All right, in this game, it's going to go right off, I think. So many things are going to happen tonight that you are going to have to stay glued to your seat for the next 90 minutes. That is right, because Big Brother has choreographed an intricate second, well, actually, an in intricate second night dance that will affect the Big Brother household as it has never been affected before. Firstly, as you know, the two housemates that you have chosen will be going into the house. What you don't know, and in fact what nobody else knows, is that Big Brother has extraordinary plans for the remaining four. Also entering the house this evening is Mr X, otherwise known as the Time Bomb. As you know, there will be two relationships in the house and Mr X will be crucial to the second. He is the only person who knows why he is going in and the ramification, ramifications of his entrance will be enormous for all in the house. So it's going to be quite a tango tonight and it will finish with the right white room coming to life. Sorry, we have problems with the auto cue if you're wondering why I'm stumbling on every second word. We're going to the white room and we are going to see what on earth is going on there. It's going to be challenging and it's going to be fantastic. Now, last night you met our six vote-in candidates. So you could choose one boy and one girl. The SMS voting lines have been running hot overnight and they're still open but only for 20 more minutes. All right, so let's take a look at who's in pole position right now. Okay, at the top we've got Harrison. Does he have the most votes? 28%. Underneath that we have Cruz with 25%. And we've got Zoran at the bottom with 47%. Remember, there is still time to vote. Okay, so there's still time to change all of that. Now, as you've been voting, our special six have been huddled in lockdown. Now, I can't imagine what has passed through their minds over the last 24 hours. So let's see if we can find out. Hi, I'm Cruz and I'm 23. I've been very anxious just thinking, um, you know, what the public's actually thinking to a lot of things that I've said. And um, I don't know, hopefully everyone will get to know me a little bit better because I think I'm a nice guy. My name's Harrison and I'm 20 years old. I really, really want to go into the house, um, be a bit of entertainment for you guys, hopefully. I'll run a muck and hopefully um, test all the boundaries. So yeah, hopefully this fun for me as will be for you guys. Hi, my name's Zoran and I'm 23 years old. It's absolutely killing me, it's so painful. I mean, last night I was up all night. I don't think I've walked around in so many circles in my life I'm thinking, what am I gonna do, what's going on, hurry up. But um, now it's coming down to the crunch, so I'm prepping myself and getting pumps. 
Okay, there are also three gorgeous girls on the selection platter from which you are choosing one head to head into the house. Look, so let's see now how their graph is looking. Let's have a quick look. There's Susanna at the top. Oh my Lord, Elorda, she's got 66% wanting her to go in. Underneath we've got Cara with 14%. And Demi is underneath that with 20%. Now remember, Big Brother thinks all of these people are legitimate housemates. So we're judging them very superficially at this point, but remember there is an adventure for everyone and you've only just found that out. So it is a tough endurance test for this special six. I wonder if the girls have dealt with the waiting any better than the boys have. Hi, I'm Susanna and I'm 30 years old. Please, please, please vote me into the House Australia. I just want the opportunity to go in there and be cute and fun and run amok with everyone. And I want you to feel like you're in there with me and just having a wild time. Hi, I'm Demi and I'm 26. The last 24 hours has been confusing. What is going on? Where are we? Why are we back here? So it's been, it's been a bit not sure. Cara, I'm 18 years old. I think the Big Brother experience would be good for just having a crazy fun time and just doing anything because I'm up for anything and I think it would be a major challenge because I am growing up and I think this would help me grow up heaps more. All right, now remember, Legion Interactive calls cost 55 cents and it's higher for mobiles and you have until 7.30pm tonight. Eastern Standard Time. Now, while we wait to discover who's going into the house, who Mr X is and what on earth the White Room is all about, perhaps we should deliver the first revelation of the evening. Yep, it is the much anticipated relationship. Is it long lost cousins, a married couple or quintuplets separated at birth? Let's take a look and see if your guess is right. Now that we know we're going in as a couple and that it's going to be a secret, I am a little bit nervous. There's this 28-year-old firefighter with buff body going in, you know, and he's got to sell this story that he's single. In the past, I haven't been the most romantic person. Uh, oh, what I guess about that's when romantic. You told me that you loved me. I got up in the morning and he'd written on the mirror in the bathroom in red lipstick, I love you, happy three months, and filled the sink with red roses. To us. We're going into the house on our first anniversary, so it's going to be a bit of a flop, not what I imagined it would be, you know, six months ago when I was getting ready for my first anniversary. I think it's a pretty good way to celebrate your first anniversary. Who would have thought it? Legally blonde Hayley and hot to handle fireman Andrew. They've been a couple for exactly a year and a day today. But it's not a honeymoon inside the house because Big Brother has given them a very high stakes mission. Our mission is to keep our relationship a secret. Tell me you love me. And this means we've got to remain undetected as a couple to all the housemates. Do I have to tell her I love her? If we succeed, we get to remain in the house as a couple. I love you. <laughs> if we fail, one of us gets evicted. We're going to do our very best to accomplish our mission. Are you going to boss me around like this in the house? I've got to try and stay in character as best I can. My strategy really is to just focus on the things that I am allowed to talk about, blow them up, make them really exciting and um, fool some people. Wait, Let's try and stay as separate as we can. I think we are going to subtly flirt with other people in order to make our story believable. Especially if we think they're trying to suss us out and we'll yeah. give them a little bit of sugar. Mm. <laughs> it's easier to, to see us succeeding than not. If we did fail, then I'd be gutted. The last thing I'm going to say to you is... Goodbye? Good luck and I love you. Oh. And don't stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, pressure. So now the entire nation outside the house knows about one relationship, but only two people inside the house know about it. Isn't the plot thickening rapidly? Because on top of all this, sometime today, we're not only delivering your two chosen ones, but also Big Brother's Mr X. And at that point, two relationships will exist inside the house. I wonder if you have any clues. Well, have a think about that while we catch up with the housemates who are still speculating about a mysterious white room Big Brother revealed to them last night. Why is that up there? What a freak out. Happy
happened? Something? Happen. That would be cool to just watch TV now. Happen! As soon as anything moves, we're gonna be like, oh my god. I'm gonna stay up all night and watch it. Yeah, I love this show. Yeah. Uh, Andrew. Big brother. Um, I know we're allowed to come in here and talk about anything. Um, this is something that I've wanted to um, express since I've been in here. Um, it is quite hard to be in here at the moment and um, not be able to be in contact with Haley as I normally would be. Um, I guess more particularly because it's our one year anniversary. Um, I am finding it a little bit hard. I didn't think I would, and I think I'm. I don't think I'm dealing it with dealing with it as well as Haley is, but. Um, and I know I can't speak to her, but if I could, I'd just like to wish her a happy one year anniversary. Let's get your togs, everyone, in the spa. Lovely times. Are you not sparring? No, no, I'm sparring. I'm just getting changed. <laughs> Honey, I'm just being we want to look. Not today. Another day we'll all look. Me denim <laughs> it's a lot easier in practice to be modest. I think it's easy just yeah. to not be modest. Being around Haley and not being able to um, have contact with her, especially on this day, where I guess we both uh, believed it'd be a day of celebration where we could be together and just have a great day together. Um, I guess that's a little bit hard. Is there anything else? That's all, thank you. That is all. It's a bit confronting, isn't it? This is... How did you do it? Just I off. got under the blanket. Hayley, it's really <laughs> easy if you just get your bra and put your over your bra and then okay. take the bra off. And <laughs> Actually, I changed my mind. It's not really that easy. Are you really struggling? No, no, I've managed to get a leg in. Hey, look at that. I've got a leg in. Oh. Probably. Huh. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah good risky. Yeah, I'll make this a day. Like this is really great. Right. This is hanging. Yeah. yeah. It's nice and warm, isn't it? That's hanged it. Are you going to shower naked? Um... I don't know. I'm sort of... It's not something that really bothers me because it's a fact of life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's like... Yeah, you just get in the shower and whatever. And I yeah. think the sooner you get it over and done with, just... Yeah. It's so done. What do you reckon about the guys? Do you reckon they'll care? No. I think it's a pretty relaxed group. Yeah, they seem... There's no major big egos. And it's the same with the girls. My biggest <laughs> thing was I just can't wait to meet Everyone. Who's going to potentially be family for the next, you know? Yeah. So. Still a possibility of people, though, coming in that you have no idea. Yeah, that's going to throw a spanner in the works. Have you ever been tempted to have a drink? Don't you drink alcohol? Oh, you you don't drink. Never, Can't, done never it. had never. a big bender? Never. Never, never. never. had thing, a, one it? drink. Never. It's a religious thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, vegan. What kind of religion are you? Oh, it's, it's, I mean, a Christianity. You don't drink yeah. grog? What else? Um, no, this is kind of um, like taking a bath with everyone. Swear. Okay. okay. Um, no, no. You can feel it. For marriage? No. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. Does that like, come from a fair's background? Is that how you're yeah, going to do it? Yeah, well, my okay. parents were converted. Andrew. So, <laughs> you, are you like real churchy? Like, you, like yeah, every yeah. Sunday? It's things that I believe, but I sort yeah, of strayed yeah. from for a while, yeah, which is not necessarily, you know, proud of, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. And um, I had a year of, you know, stuff. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what stuff? <laughs> I don't understand. Are you, are you, are you, so, yeah. I mean, are you I'm, uncomfortable I'm, with everyone like, stuff is like video games? No, like, okay, I'm not a virgin. Right. Mm. Even though I'm not supposed to, but yeah, okay. I, until I, like, last Your parents year, I was Fair enough. No, no, my parents, I told my parents, yep. I know. The thing is, like, I've sort of come back more recently, so I've yeah, okay. made a realisation again. Yeah. Get back in the church yeah. thing. Hi. Here's trouble. Yeah, I'm going to shower. We were just discussing the whole naked shower thing. Oh, I'm getting in it now. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, why not? Well, no, come on. You're going to have to get used to it eventually, yeah, so you might as well. Yeah, that's what I reckon. Just, <laughs> just do it, like. Cool. Do it. <laughs> we should just go in there and sit and talk. On that little pink couch thing. Cold morning. Good morning, Good morning. I might prepare myself for bed. 
Okay. You guys are going to dominate this room, aren't you? Yep. Do you reckon I'm going to lay my stuff out? Leave it out. Up to you. It's bloody good enough. After going into the house seven hours earlier, this is the first time Hayley and Andrew have been alone together. Happy cleaning. Thank you all. You right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who supplied these beds? Not too bad, I really right. Yeah, yeah. Pretty I expected good. worse. They go okay. <laughs> hey, Tommy, how much is hanging over the edge? Um, my toes are here. And your head is up on the light box. <laughs> <laughs> is someone Amazing. short? They no, I reckon they they're better up than that. Oh, look, Thomas is. It's not like I all of a sudden woke up and, oh my god, I'm tall. Like, so I've been this way since that, I was 14. I didn't get out of bed at all. I've got heaps of room. Hurry up. Oh! Hey! Hey! oh! Thank you, big brother. Yeah. Good night, guys. Good Cheers night, to us. Good night, everybody. 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 Good night, to vote in Demi, SMS Demi to 191010. To vote in Harrison, SMS Harrison to 191010. To vote in Cruz, SMS Cruz to 191010. To vote in Zorin, SMS Zorin to 191010. Legion Interactive votes cost 55 cents. Lines close at 7.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. A Big Brother special in which we watched the seeds we planted last night blossom into spiky cacti. Yes, we told you that Mr X will be arriving tonight. We told you that the white room will become inhabited. We told you about the first relationship connection in the house that is soon to get very, very messy. But we haven't told you who you've chosen and that's because with 10 minutes to go, we don't know yet. So let's see how the votes are going right now. Let's have a look. Susanna is at the top. She's gone down 1%, but she's still galloping. What are you going to for? Is she the one you want in? Kara has gone up 1%. Lovely, lovely, lovely girl. And Demi, 20%. She's consistent on that one. Okay, so it's still looking like Susanna with less than 10 minutes to go. All right, of course, the yet-to-be-chosen ones don't know any of this. In fact, they don't even know that there's been voting at all. They don't know how many of them are competing for these places. They know none of this. As they sit trembling somewhere on the Gold Coast, they are waiting for your decisions. Hi, I'm Demi and I'm 26. I love attention. I don't seek it, I just naturally get it for some reason. When I walk into a crowd, people just <laughs> me for some reason, I don't know why. Hi, I'm Kara. I'm 18 years old. I'm bossy. If anyone um, brushes me the wrong way, I find it hard to get over it. I'm a really big bitch and I'll annoy the hell out of people. Hi, I'm Susanna and I'm 30 years old. I'm a little bit saucy and sweet at the same time. Massive flirt. I'm a boy's girl, but um, I want to be a girl's girl. OK, she wants to be a girl's girl. We'll see how that goes, should it ever eventuate, although it does look like it might. Probably about eight minutes to go. Let's see how the votes are going for the boys. All right, right at the top we've got Harrison. These votes have remained stable. Harrison is 30, Cruz is 25%, and Zoran is 45%. Not as big a gap between those ones, but looks like Zoran's got the people. All right, 
Now, I'm sure they think they're tougher than the girls, but are the boys really coping with this nail-biting time any better than the girls? Let's have a look. My name's Harrison and I'm 20 years old. I don't like playing hard to get, but you have to with girls because they, they play their game, so you have to keep up. I'm not really good with commitment. I hope that changes soon because I don't really want to be lonely for the rest of my life. Hi, my name's Zoran and I'm 23 years old. I'm outrageous, I'm funny, I'm cunning. Oh, lie, lie, lie. I'm a great liar, no one will even notice. Hi, I'm Cruz and I'm 23. I'm not afraid to stand up for my beliefs. I'm not as naive and as innocent as I look. Men are still superior. Well, I think a few of the things the boys said shocked a few people. There are only, well, there are less than five minutes left to vote now. Didn't that time go quickly? And I want to remind you that your choice will affect who goes into the house in more ways than you will ever imagine. Because remember, I've told you since that the remaining four are not necessarily going home. So now that I've said that, we're all biting our nails in anticipation. So let's calm ourselves by crossing to the house to catch up on the next stage of The Daily Show, where Rebecca was the last to go to bed last night, and then two hours later, she was the first up, starting her day with a prayer. How are you feeling about everything? I'm still here. I know. <laughs> I just had to check. The <laughs> I think I had to check. Because like last night in the conversation, I thought it was a fantastic conversation. Oh. But I felt like completely out of it. Sometimes I wonder like my percep like what people perceive me as in a group. Do you know what I mean? Like who am I in this group? Am I yeah. like the irritator? Am I like, um, mm. do you know what I mean? I don't feel like uh, I'm not as cool as everyone else. <laughs> you know, and I think some I've sort of felt a bit, a bit on the outer from some people, but I, I think that uh, I'm not even basing that on too much right now because things will change because we're going to know each other so intimately. There's a lot of tasks that quickly. we're going to do, and we're going to mm. really get to know what we're really like. I'm seeing you talking to everyone, not just like one particular, you know. But is there anyone that you have really sort of? bonded with very quickly and suddenly? Um, so yeah, I'd say, I'd say you. Mm. Um, I'd also say Andrew. So Andrew and I are fairly um, like persons. And, and, it seems like, and not that I'm saying that I'm not going to get along with you just as well, no, but I just, know. instantly I said, this is a guy no, that I'm going to really cool. bond with. Mm. This is Big Brother. Housemates. You're about to receive your first weekly task. Big Brother is conducting a compatibility test by asking each of the housemates a series of questions. I wonder what we win though. Food. Big Brother 
is going to ask you to choose between two opposites. Pick the answer which you believe most reflects your personality. Saint or sinner? Saint. 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 Sinner. Sinner. Indecisive or decisive? Indecisive. Decisive. Indecisive. How appropriate. Uh, decisive. Footy. Fashion. Footy. Footy. Fashion. Dumpy. Dumper. Dumpy. And dumpy. Dumper. Kisses. Cuddles. Kisses. Cuddles. Cuddles. Cuddles, it can lead to something else. That completes the compatibility test. While Andrew and Haley are dismissed after their tests, Big Brother has a secret mission for the others, and each housemate thinks that they are the only one to receive it. Big Brother has selected you for a special task. <laughs> OK. A secret task. <laughs> you know, I mean, the oh, OK. Sorry. You can never discuss with your housemates. If you do, you will be evicted from the Big Brother house. Do you understand? Yes, that's, that's serious. Two of your housemates are lying to you. Mm -hmm. They say they are strangers, but they are a couple. You're kidding. They are boyfriend and girlfriend. No way. They live together in the outside world. No way. <laughs> but are living a lie in the Big Brother house. Your task is to identify them. Okay. Okay, you probably picked the worst person, but okay. Why? Oh, I would suck at this. If you are successful, yes. you will be generously rewarded. Oh, good gold. If you fail, there'll be a severe penalty. Oh, you know, I take it that giving a special task like that, you would have to think that I could cope with something like this, big brother. So in a way, I'm type of uh, excited, but at the same time, geez, are you, are you telling the truth? You have one week to find them. Cool. That is all. Big brother. Jamie. May I change one of my responses that I've rethought? No. Okay. Thank you, big brother. That is all. After the break, the hunt for the couple is on. Have you got a girlfriend on the outside? Not now. Have you got a boyfriend, husband, girlfriend no. back out there? I am very much single. which two new housemates are going in. Four other lives will be impacted upon forever. Mr X will enter the house and the switch is flicked in the white room as the nation watches in awe. Now the first stage of course is putting those two new housemates in. It's been a busy night and the lines are now closed. So now we're crossing to the next stage of the Daily Show with everyone on a secret mission to find out about Andrew and Hayley. It's starting to get hot in the kitchen for our secret couple. Do you want to put some chilies in there? Can you reduce the flavour? While Haley and Andrew try to keep their secret, Big Brother's special mission has the other housemates asking questions about relationships. Anything to give some taste to the toast. That's exactly right. I'm going to get some chilies out of the garden. Maybe we need to glad wrap that. I'll come back and do that. Oh, the veggies and the tofu together. It's stir fry. Yeah, I know it, Hale. I know it. You certainly am. Did you say, is that, was that Hale's? I ate it. No. That's a no, I like it. I like it. What? I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with Hale's. Are we, are we allowed to say that? Is that, is that a nickname? Oh, I don't know, I just said Hale's. Hale's. Oh. Hale's is a... I don't know, it's just easy to... It's got nah, a to it. I, the first girl I ever kissed was called Hayley. 
That was back at primary oh, school. And maybe the last one you're gonna kiss. <laughs> I see where you're going with that. Have you got a, have you got a boyfriend, husband, girlfriend Long back out there? Was, I am very much single. Yeah? Very much. Jobs yeah. You may enter, <laughs> but not. Is this a private discussion? Not at all. Yes. 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 Awesome. As soon as you read our mind. <laughs> How are you going, lovey? So are you guys gonna pick up in the house? Can you please pick up Bo? Bo, 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 Bo. No. Do it. No, sorry. Do it. No. So have you um have you had a girlfriend on the outside or? Oh, have I boy, had one? Have you got one or? Not now. Girlfriend, no. boyfriend, whatever. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I just don't want to have a girl. You know what I mean? Like I want to be selfish. I want to do as much as I can for me, which is part of the reason why I'm in here. Oh. oh. Isn't this just a lads' room now? Yeah, a bit ladsy. Lads, lads. Foot on the hey, foot hey, on the hey, bed. Hey, well, I'm having trouble engaging some of the people in here, so I have really? to say early day. Yeah. Okay, yeah, do you mind if I just sit on your bed? Yeah, do it. Bones or myself? Sit here. Yeah, so, what, you lads, lads, I don't know. Just relating like, to some of the people. Lads, having any any issues relating to me? You no, know, you, you, you both go all right. I just have trouble talking to Jamie. I just like. Really? Yeah. Like, yeah. I I just have trouble like yeah getting things out there. <laughs> See, Jamie's a bit of a, he's a quieter, he's, he's, very, he's more he's, of a thinker. He's the opposite of me. <laughs> Loud no, yes. not really. I think, yeah. I think you'd actually find that you guys have a lot in common. I think we just have he's, to sit down and have a He's just arm. quiet about it. What about you? <laughs> um, I think they're all great, great personalities, but none of them right None now. of them float your boat? No. I was single, no. Oh, I have oh you've got a man anyway. Yeah. I forgot about that. So I'm not looking, but, you know, if I had to say one of them, perhaps, I, I would say, but I don't really think any of them. Where are you from? No one. Nice. I get much more city than me. I have no idea where I'm going to live when I get out. Really? Come on a holiday to Melbourne and stay with me. Oh, you can party dude. in Melbourne, party it up. We're there. So much We're so going to do like. You? We, we should all. I'm coming to Melbourne. Melbourne. You should come stay with me. Come to Melbourne. You more of a chance. Yeah, have a have come to Melbourne, have a bit of party. Oh, Melbourne. Melbourne. Yes. Now, I've struggled with a low self-esteem for a long time and I'm really yep. cracking out of it. Um, I actually had um, suffered with eating disorders for a while, uh, mm. yeah, a long time. And that kind well, of battle so with thank yourself... Thank you for trusting me with that. That's good. Uh, when it comes Seriously, to being... thank you for trusting me with that. No, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to tell everybody. Cause no, that, no. that would be something that people would change their opinion of Definitely. I'm not really, I'm not looking for a relationship in here, and I, I don't think you are. Like, I don't, is that, like, you wouldn't mind it, or? Oh, I reckon that'd be fantastic. Having a relationship? With I reckon that'd be great. I reckon that'd be great, but it's not what I come in here looking for. Yeah. You can't, you can't come in here with that kind of expectation, that one out of, you know. We've got five, six girls. Yeah. <laughs> not five, I'm thinking five, well, because I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm counting everyone else, you know what I mean? One out of six girls. Yeah, it's like, no, you can't come And even here. then, Again, like, one's in taken, but she's dating somebody. Yeah. No, that'd be, it'd, be, it'd be a fantastic way, you know, it'd be, it'd be a fantastic story to say, you know, when you get old and the kids are around, you're saying, yeah, we met on this, <laughs> this TV show. Next on Big Brother, a hint of romance. I'm sold on you anyway, I reckon you're top chick. Welcome back to Big Brother Game On. As the whistle blows, you choose the final two housemates. For two of our vote-ins, it's not the end of the journey, it's just the beginning. So you can't miss a moment of this. But right now, let's go to the fourth part of our daily show, where it's all about relationships. Does anyone else in this house feel like we're all brothers and sisters, or is there anyone who's got a bit of a crush going? Brother and sister! I've got crush. Brother and sister. Crush. You got a crush? I've got a crush. Oh, you got a crush on? Hey. Yeah, I've got a crush, but I'm not saying who it is. Oh, oh come way. on! Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not saying anything! Oh, come on! Lips are sealed. Oh, there no, you go. but just can you say if you were telling the truth on us? So I'm keeping my lips sealed. So hey. Hayley came out then, and no one else was coming out. Well, tell me everything. Where are you from? What do you do? Go through it all again from the start. Do you reckon? Yeah. Do, what state are you from? NT. Northern Territory? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. I'm from Darwin. Why do you think I didn't fit in with the schmoes? Because I'm like... You're definitely not like... Um, I'm outback girl. No, but you're definitely not not 
classy, you know what I mean? Like a lot of them. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know. You're not rough around the edges. You know what I mean? You got okay. to, You got it. You're a bit refined. Okay, so yeah, that's a compliment. Yeah, it is a compliment. I'm, I'm it. translating that as a compliment. I'm sold on you anyway. I reckon you're top chick. Turn around, head. Okay, okay, I got a game play. I got a game play. What? No, it's, what? it's silly because I'll have to answer it. Um, Why is your hair so messed up? Guess what I want things on. What's going on between you two? Oh, I don't know. Hey, let's play up uh, okay, never ever. I'm like, oh no, that's such a bad Sorry. game. Never ever is another version of the truth game the housemates played last night. I've got something. Never ever have I ever nibbled on someone's. If I say near yeah, ear, you must have. Uh, can I go? Yep, yeah, I'll give mine to Andrew. I have never Bye. ever. <laughs> bomb bomb. Yeah. Bomb. You're not. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey. You're not. <laughs> oh, here we go. I was sure everyone was trying. Where's the rest of the conversation going? Yeah. Conversation. Well, I might head off into that conversation. Yeah. It's the conversation. Is it such an awful yeah. conversation? Yeah, and oh no, it is beyond right. some boundaries of some people, but... No, I'm not I'm saying anything. I want you to roll, buddy. You're all prudes. <laughs> You're all high. Not playing anything, yeah, that's all. Going beyond, I think. No, there's it's funny and then there's the line. No, no, no. There is a line. So those two got, did that get upset by my comment? No, uh, about the no, just, comments in general. No, I, think, I think they just don't want to be part of the conversation. Those two? Let them walk away. I think they're yeah, uncomfortable. No, awesome, no, if you don't want to join, you walk away. If then, yeah, yeah. if they're not into it. Yeah. Not that it is terrible, each to their own, but just... What, was it bad? It's a little bit... It's offensive. A little bit, a little bit borderline. Well then, we'll ignore it. We and shall. Abstain. That's just so yogurt. Is it gross? I'm gonna have one. It's actually delicious. Oh, oh please, can you get me one? Please, what please, please. What flavour do you please. want, babe? Um, the, yeah. All right, who's, who's next? I went. I've never. Alicia, your turn. You can one, pass. The, the bar has been raised, I'll put it that way. Well, oh. The last few have been dirty. quite dirty. Oh. But you don't have to continue that theme if you don't want it. Don't dirty? Matter. Whatever you want to say. Dirty, yet no. sexy. What was the obscene thing that they abstained about? No, so you right. enjoyed back in, Kate. It was, like, if you, oh, Sorry. If they go in and object. never intention of they yeah. go in and object. Yeah. Don't That's fall in the pool. It. Yeah, they just didn't like it, so they went inside. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Can I just, can I just, can I just, can I just say something? Someone tonight admitted they had a crush. Oh, hello. Who was that? Hayley. Hayley. Did Maybe she? she used that as an excuse to draw oh. someone else. Oh. Maybe they had no problem with it. Maybe they've gone. Mm -hmm. Into the makeout room. Mm -hmm. into, Bring the, it on. into the makeout room. Into the oh, matrix. Yeah. Oh well, let's not talk about it anymore because we won't get in trouble. Um, Did someone say this was good, by the way? It's gross. <laughs> yeah. Next on Big Brother, TJ puts on a class act. Us classy people, we'll be over here if you want like a decent conversation. <laughs> yeah. Blow that out your butt. <laughs> Welcome back to a special Big Brother special. A special special. Well, Australia, you have exercised your power to affect life in the Big Brother house. Two brand new housemates, a boy and a girl, nervously await their entrance into the house. Who did you choose? Well, I'll find out soon. The house doesn't know they're coming, remember that. And the newies don't know each other. Remember that our current housemates have had time to mark out their territory and the arrival of two new housemates to compete with them could well cause bitterness and resentment. But first, before we do that, let's cross to the final part of our daily show, where after 24 hours, the housemates honeymoon period is coming to an end. But no, Thomas seemed cool about it, but Hayley didn't, and that's why I yeah. feel weird, because, you know what I mean? She'll be right. Let, wait, honestly, I wouldn't take anything to the watch okay. tomorrow. Earlier in the More evening, Hayley and Thomas left the conversation after taking offence at a vulgar comment from Andrew. What flavour did you get? Strawberry. Black. I hope we didn't offend you out there. If we did, and if we did, you can Absolutely. tell you can tell me in the morning. And um, Absolutely, I would never expect an apology, but, and I wasn't. I just had nothing that I could add, honestly. I understand. But thank you. Oh, you're right. I was waiting for it to go. <laughs> it's not. All right. 
I almost felt like I had done something wrong. Yeah, and, no. I, and I felt and I felt that from Haley. I, like I'll put it out there and I'll name names. I felt that from her. Oh, and I'm just like, I don't think it's about how you, you portray yourself on TV. I think it's, it's about like Andrew, yeah. what I mean, you want to talk about and what you don't want to talk about. Oh. I think I seriously offended someone. Like no, I don't think that's, that's, what, we're we're just, that's like, what we're discussing. That's what we're discussing. Seriously? If you don't say, like it, I'll put away. it in black and white. If someone wants to be a little bit princess and a little bit, if she you know, like, a little bit nose in the air and, oh my God, that's vulgar conversation and I don't want to hear that. She's totally entitled to her own opinion, but then she doesn't let need it go. To, you can't please any, everybody. You it's can't almost please impossible everybody. to have one-on-one -on -one with someone any, in here anyway. That's room. what I'm saying. If, as soon as Are you, you guys hungry? There's really yum yogurt out there. You should try it. Oh my God, my hand was on that door <laughs> and like I think you broke my wrist. Oh really? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's ten times worse. Seriously, go over yogurt. It's delicious. <laughs> Poor Andrew, I feel for him. I feel for him. Poor thing. Plastic. Aluminium. Hey, Lee. Yes? High five. Uh, it's a very big jump. The groups are going to start dividing now, aren't they? Let's uh, look down our nose at them, them vulgar in the, in the gutter people. people over there. What's that side Us then? Us classy people. We'll be over here if you want like a decent conversation. <laughs> yeah, blow that out your butt. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. You? You know what I mean? Ooh. It's just crazy. Hello. It's crazy. Hello. Crazy, crazy. Hiya. Everyone's pushing Hiya. me around. <laughs> <laughs> She's funny. She makes me laugh. It's awesome. She's beautiful. Isn't she? Fresh little face. <sighs> yeah. She oh, is bro. Cool. Oh God, I could have gone to bed three hours ago. Mm. I can oh. readily see us getting all really sleep deprived. I yeah. know, and crazy. I reckon. Do you think we all agree that if the conversation isn't working for us, we just walk away and that everyone else left in the conversation shouldn't feel guilty or need for apologies? Well, that's apologize? what you do in the outside thing, you know, wouldn't you? Like if, and, if, you, if, you were here, if you were chatting to someone, yeah. you'd walk away. So you, you can't sort to of... Do it? I'm sorry. Oh, I okay. offended you pretty little Yeah, but, 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 but. You know? They did what you're yeah. saying we should do as of now. Come okay. out of the heat, get out of the freaking kitchen. That's what they did. That's and that's what, they, and did. that's what they did. And that's what they did. Okay. So the people in the kitchen can handle the heat and shouldn't feel... I reckon, away. I reckon my call's the go. What's your call? The crush thing. Oh, somebody's not being nice in the boys. Sorry? Since someone's not being nice in the little boys' room. Oh, really? Oh, they've been in there way too long. Yeah, so like, do you feel like you're offended? No, I do, but that's I just do. my nature. This is who I'm I am. Yeah, I'm saying I don't want to, you know, and, and like, create any enemies or step on any toes. Like they, they, they but there's did. some people in here that I personally don't give a f if I upset them. But they, yeah. <laughs> you know, like. You don't know. Me. <laughs> 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 You are so short. Look. It looks ridiculous when you. Wait, wait till she sits down and does the split. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Earlier in the day, Big Brother gave each of the housemates a secret mission to try and uncover Andrew and Haley. They all think they're the only one on the hunt. Rebecca. The task that you've given me um, oh, is causing me some grief, Big Brother. It's um. You have got some amazing actors in this place. I normally can pick people and I'm just, I think I know and I think I'm picking it out and I'm really trying to pinpoint, you know, who's living the lie and trying to catch them in it and really trying to observe and step back, you know. But some people aren't giving a lot. A lot of people are being closed about themselves. Some people that have told a lot about themselves might not be telling the truth, which is more likely the case. Thanks. Good times tonight. Yeah. I feel it, really. Thanks, guys. Thank you. you know, and I, I really hope that it wasn't at the cost of other people's expense, but I had a really the good time. At the cost of and other people's expense? That's all that matters. No, no I'm, I'm joking. I'm not only talking about Seriously, had a good time with you guys. Fun. Yeah. Yep. Oh, cranky now. If you're looking out for you, you can. In the house as it is, I'm sort of. Struggling to find my feet a bit, you know. There's a little bit of um, 
bravado and showmanship by a lot of people in here, um, it's difficult to get past that and really find the meat, you know, really crack their heads and, you know, because a lot of people are really closed, you know, they're really guarding themselves in this setting. Is there anything else? Not really, big brother. Uh, just the ramblings of an insane mind. <laughs> We're still um, friends here. Yeah? Are we still friends? We're still friends. You're going to make me cry. I'm hanging here for like five minutes. Sorry, sorry. I reckon cool. you'd be the sensitivest boyfriend ever. Shut up. Sorry. I mean, in a good way. <laughs> no, sensitivist is not a real word. And further to that, I think we should observe that blossoming relationship, which is going to explode very soon. Stay tuned, because the house is set to go off in a very big way. Welcome back. OK, game on is now on. You used your power to choose two housemates, a boy and a girl, and they're about to have their lives changed forever. It is important for me to remind you that each of the six contenders for these two places has been considered a valid and possibly fabulous potential housemate. I tell you this because the names I'm about to read are not outright winners. The game is not that simple, OK? Now, first up, we meet the boy you all voted for. So may I have the envelope, please? And the boy you voted for is, there's no surprise in this, because I already showed you the graph, is Zoran. So would you welcome him? Hey, Zoran. How are you going? Good. Mm -hmm. How are you? Come sit over here. Oh. So you can relax. Oh. When did you go into lockdown? Uh, on Sunday night. OK, so have you been quietly going mad in lockdown? Yeah, the last last 24 hours has been absolutely killing me, so I've been tossing and turning all night. Because they, they said to you, you may or may not be going in. Yep. OK, so you knew there was the big launch night and you didn't know if you were or were not going in on that night? No, I had absolutely no idea what so was going on. So you're completely psyched to at least get an answer and then they said, no, you're going to have to wait. Yeah, exactly. People are telling me to wait. I'm just going home. I was going, oh, so. So who did you have with you in lockdown? Uh, I had my uh, my good mate, Peter. Are you still good mates? Oh, definitely still good mates. Okay, so what did you do? Um, the entire time, we just uh, pretty much spoke and did some exercises, but I don't, I don't think I've watched so many movies in my life. Okay. I, I was absolutely bored afterwards. And so you've had to kind of accept in your mind that you may be going on this huge adventure or you may be going home. Yeah. So how did you balance that? Uh, I just try to be a bit more optimistic. So I try to, you know, pitch out the negative and focus more on the positive and hopefully all goes well. Well, it was pretty tough, you know, because people saw you and they had to vote on whether you should go into the house. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty hard because you were only on stage for like two sentences. I know, I know. And uh, they decided that you should go into the house. It's good news. <laughs> now, how do you feel? Like, because if anyone else is already in the house, that gives you a little bit of a behind the eight ball position, doesn't it? Do you think you can catch up? Oh, I can definitely catch up. I, I've got a mouth on me, believe me, I can catch up. Really? <laughs> yeah. you got a mouth on you. Well, all right. Yeah. So you've got to go into the house, it's night time, you're all ready. Have ready. you got like an opening line, an opening approach? Oh, I'm just, I haven't thought about it yet, but it's probably just, ah, how you going everyone? So. <laughs> think about it. You've I'll got a whole it. four minutes in that glorious golf buggy. Think about it because the way you enter that house will affect your entire, entire time in there. All right. Remember? They're locking you out. Now, you don't know how many people there are in there. I do know, and I can tell you that's inadequate, OK? Oh, really? OK. Yeah, yeah completely inadequate. The no. good thing is one person doesn't drink. Well, it's more for me, then. <laughs> I doubt it. It'll be like a thimble. All right, now, you've got to get on the glorious golf buggy. OK. I hope I don't see you soon, because the Thank only you. way I'll see you soon is if you're evicted. Yeah. Up you get. Good luck. Thank you very much. Give me a hug. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Off you go. Well, there he goes. I still think we should have motorbikes, but no, we have a golf buggy. So <laughs> off he goes, and we try and make it look like it's glamorous by putting really hot lighting on it. Okay, so 
Zoran is on his way. He's so completely confident. It is amazing, isn't it? He wasn't even shaking. I was. So now it's time for you to meet the girl that you chose. May I have the envelope, please? We already know this too. Do <laughs> it. Susanna! Well done. Hi. How are you? Good, good. Sit down. Hi. Wow. What a time you've had. <laughs> Did this really test you these last couple of days? Um, yes, you can say that. In what way? Um, well, I don't really know whether to be uh, freaking out or um, totally calm about things, but it's kind of done my head in. <laughs> Did you cry? Did you scream? Because you can't ring anyone, can you? No crying, no screaming. Just spent a lot of downtime, you know, just trying to chill out and relax and uh, not panic too Did much. Did you eat, like, everything in the minibar? Um, no, but I ate a hell of a lot of Tim Tams over the past few days I just tried to get in as much chocolate as possible because I don't know that Big Brother's gonna let me eat so much this year but do you know if you're going into the house now no no so not you at don't all. know this could just be another one of our chats I know I could be going home I don't how would you feel about that because that's so hard isn't it you I know you couldn't tell people that you were leaving but they will have seen you on television and then suddenly it's like what happened? Anticlimax. Yeah. Big time, big time. But um, yeah I mean I'm just so excited at the moment like what are you excited about? The whole experience itself, like just from go to woe, from, I never thought that I was going to get through and for every step I was just shocked every time they'd give me a call and say come back. I mean it even got to the point where I was so sure that I didn't make it that I'd um, booked and paid for a holiday away and um, which is actually supposed to be happening next week <laughs> and when they called me I was like oh and I can't really cancel now anyway so I lost my money but I think oh, it's worth it. You should get on to Big Brother about that. <laughs> so you've been shocked every step of the way well I'm about to shock you again because what will it say? No, you are going into the house. Yeah, so that's great. I really think you're ready for an adventure, aren't you? Now you're going to have to be strong and focused and you're going to have to start right now. I think Big Brother's going to be mean this year, so I'm a little bit scared. Yep, he is. He yeah, is no. going to be mean and there are a whole lot of characters oh. in ah! This is for me. Uh, oh. No, that's for you to take into the house. It'll be one of those gifts that could disappoint people just because there isn't enough of it. But that's okay. Good Maybe I luck. can hide it in my luggage and pretend it's not there. And just what a great way to start <laughs> relationships. Yeah, excellent. Greed and selfishness should go down well. Yeah. Now remember, good luck in the house. Thank you. And so have a good much. time here. Thanks, up we go. Thank you. You'll be wonderful. Straight through there. Thank you. Okay, the 12 inside the house are oblivious to the fact that a new and unexpected housemate nervously approaches their door. Zoran is about to enter their world, but before he enters, Big Brother has something to say to the housemates. Six nights off. Or, yeah. Did you do night shift when the fire is? Yeah. Oh, so that's all right. You're not this, even there. After this night. Big Brother housemates listen carefully. All male housemates to the bedroom immediately. All female housemates to the lounge. Just immediately. This is oh. what I'm talking about. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. Better Thank find you. Out. Yeah. 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 Bodie, where are you going? This is oh. 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 going on, mate? It's on. We might find out. We might find out. We might find out. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, this is going to be scary. Look out. Maybe. No, just, no. Okay, brother, we're here. Oh. Shh, shh, shh. She's so excited. Yeah, this is good. Let's pull up a little bit. This is pretty crazy, crazy, eh? This is all there is. Could you wait? They're going to be near people. I'm so excited. You can tell you're in the big brother house when you go like that when it just goes off. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Oh, there it is. How are you going? Who are you? I'm Zoran. Hi Zoran. How are you going? How are you going? Oh, How are you going? Oh, How are you going? No. Yay! Yay! Yes. How are you going? How are you going? How are you going? Hello. Emma, how are you going? What's your name? Zoran. 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 How are you going? I'm TJ. Oh my God. Put some champagne. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
We're over this. You're here. I can't see you. Oh, 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 Put some long pants. I've got a spare room. No, it could be a spare room. That's just probably a bunt they tricked him with them. Let's grab his pillow. I don't reckon. Let him all. He's going to roll so, grab him Do you know all. that we have other people? I do? Yeah, yeah. there's boys. Where are they? Oh, they're in the bedroom. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I'm good though. I'm good. <laughs> so you're all yeah, good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good, yeah. So, so where's the bedroom? But where are the guys though? They're in the bedroom. But we're not ready. It's locked. I think they might have got another intruder or something. Yeah, they had a girl. Because we had to yell out. Could you believe those boys jumping up and down? Like, didn't you think Susanna has walked in? She hasn't walked in. They don't even know why they're jumping up and down. They just are. OK, stage one of this complicated dance is almost complete. Our second selected housemate is about to join the throng. And after that, Big Brother will detonate his explosives. <laughs> we like, we like the ladies. <laughs> We did I like that. Jay, we said, uh, hello, hello, ladies. There you go. Thank you. All right, I think we need to do a cheers to Zara. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the Big Brother yeah. house. Yeah. Thank you very much. Considerate and I thought you were gonna get on the champers, but obviously. You oh, don't I'll drink. take care of that. Don't worry about that's, it. That's, this is my heavy duty. Zara needs it. You still. Ah. So you're not allowed. I know you're not allowed to say anything about oh, what you swear. Girl. Have, you, have you had a good day? Good girl. That's oh, a bit funky, yeah. Actually. Oh, I mean, it's been a bit. Yeah. So welcome back to Big Brother Game On, which is about to take a sudden, somewhat bizarre and dramatic turn. Of course, you know that it was up to you to choose two housemates to enter the Big Brother house. What Big Brother has not told you is that he has a plan for the remaining four. Did you imagine that they would be going home tonight? If so, you are absolutely wrong because Big Brother has a challenge up his sleeve that will allow these four to go on and perhaps win Big Brother 2007. Would you please welcome the remaining four? <laughs> I know, I know. All right, now. You've all got white masks on. Now, Demi, I know you can see out the bottom of your mask, can't you? I you can must see be able to because it's ill-fitting. I think we should all take our masks off. Now, the reason you had them, welcome Harrison, Demi, Bruce and Cara. Now, you guys, how long have you had your masks on for? Ages. Ages. But like you, you left lockdown, you drove here without masks. Yes. Yeah. And then you put white outfits on. Yeah. And white masks. I feel like a fighter. You, do you feel like a fighter? All right, well that could help. <laughs> now, you've had a horrible time in lockdown, just because you didn't know what on earth was going on. Yes. Well, this is the first time you four have met, isn't yes. it? Yes. So would you actually like to meet? Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay, fire away. Travis. Cara. Cruz. Jimmy. Harrison. Yeah. Cruz. Demi. Harrison, Harrison Cara. Okay, Harrison. now it, <laughs> it could be I good that you get to that. know each other okay. because we've had a kind of experience. Well, well, actually, I don't even know what I can tell you. I can just tell you that the door is open for you to have a different experience to the one that you anticipated. Okay. The choice is yours, but you're going to have to put your masks back on okay. and you're not going to know where you're going. Can I leave the beanie off? No, beanie is a prerequisite. Like Why did they make you put the beanie on when you're know. the only one with blonde hair? I don't know. Could be anything. Yeah, put it on. <laughs> put it on. There should oh, be sweet. could be some secret inside it. All right. Can I hold it down at least so I don't look like Popeye. No. Oh, God. Just bloody put it on. There you are. All right, you do look like Popeye. Okay. <laughs> so, this you've had this time where you didn't know if you're going into the house. And now you've got this time where you don't know you're going into the house at all. Again, last time over lockdown, you just had to pace yourselves and see what happened. And now you're going to be tested a little more um, challengingly. Is that all right with you? Yeah. You ready for that? Yeah. You guys are probably just ready for some other human interaction, aren't you? Yes. All right. I'm going to ask you to put the mask. No, I, I want you to put the mask back on and walk out. But I suddenly realised that's kind of dumb because you won't make it to the golf buggy. <laughs> 
So why don't you get up and walk towards that blue screen. I'll wish all of you good luck. You. And this is going to be hard, OK? It's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it. All right? So you're going to have to find something deep within. All right, up we go. Good luck, Cara. Oh, thank you. Good luck. Ciao. Good luck, Cara. Good luck, Demi. Oh, Have a great you. time, Harrison. Oh, Do thanks, well. Gretel. Keep that beanie on day and night. <laughs> All right, off they go. Masks on. You've got to put the masks on. Put the masks on. <laughs> One of our truly greatest costuming moments ever. <laughs> All right, now while these four tremble in their boots, let's cross to the house to see our next new housemate enter the Big Brother Ballyhoo. Oh, that's to smell good. No, that's not a smell good. No, that's one of those little barcode things. Yeah, it's just a, it's a doorbell. I reckon it's a doorbell, kind of. It's a doorbell. Nah. It's a swipey thing. Nah, no, it's swipe. She's a, ooh, something went dark, isn't it? Or not? Where? Oh, that screen. TV went screen. off. I knew TV's off. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Can you show it to work guy. with? There's going to be someone in there. Fuck, Watch how exciting is this? This is awesome. Yeah, gonna, it's going to come is, back this on. Oh, <laughs> Yes. That's all right. What's your name, Drew? Susanna. Susanna, how are you? Travis. Nice you to going? meet you, Travis. Susanna, Jamie. Hi. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, Susanna. I'm Susanna. spinning out. Awesome. What's your name? Andrew. Hi, nice Andrew. Joel, how are you? Joel, nice, nice to, to meet you. You too. Susanna, I'm Thomas. Nice Lovely to meet you. you. How are you doing, Bodie? Bodie? Yeah, nice to meet you. Let's crack this baby open, shall we? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yes. Is the door open? What, okay, so um, I'm here with a whole bunch of boys. There's girls in there. Old boy house is locked in. Yeah. Locked in a bedroom. Let's crack the wine. Yeah, let's crack it. Okay. Glasses, glasses. Yeah. Thank you. Very welcome. Wow. Oh my God. So okay. You don't have a bed. Whereabouts are you from, Susan? Whereabouts are you from? Melbourne. Melbourne? Oh, Melbourne. Oh, South Yarra. No, Victoria. There we go. Nice I'm a Vic as well. Where, where are you nice from? South Yarra. All about Melbourne. I'm still watching. Where is everyone else from? Uh, Adelaide. Oh, Adelaide. Yeah, Perth. Perth. Bodie's from Perth as well. Nice one. Nice one. Oh. How many more? God, I didn't think does it seem weird for you, does it? Like, yeah, yeah, I thought that this I would awesome. be one of the originals. And I thought okay. that everyone was going to be like voted in or not. And I was just spinning out. like. There you go. The last few days have been. What's been going on? You probably, yeah, you can't, need, can't say a I lot. Need one of these. Yeah, it'd be <laughs> bloody weirdos, wouldn't it, for you now? Like walking in here now, does it seem weird? Like just. Yeah, now yeah. it seems real. Like the past yeah. few days Can't have mustn't. just been like a dream sequence. What is it, what, so what's been happening with you? Have you been? This just, she won't be big saying brother. It. Housemates, you are free to leave the bedroom. We'll get fresh cups. Oh, okay, some, cool. There's someone else. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Sorry? Bodie. Bodie? Oh my God. Sorry? Is it just Sorry. Susanna? Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Sorry. Travis, Sorry. 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 Joel. Joel. Nice to meet you. Very well, mate. Hey, everyone. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Oh, my God. I'm freaking out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you going? Where's that wine? We need to crack that open immediately. Um, Melbourne, South Yarra. Where is everyone from? Where are you from? Queensland. Oh, I used to live here. I moved to. Um, We've been here a few days. Yeah. We've been here probably three, three days. We can say two days. days. Yeah, of course we can. Travis doesn't remember how long he's been in the house. <laughs> But they are acting as though they're starving for company. There were already 12 of them in there. Now they've got two more. They're all energised. So that's two brand new housemates for the household to soak up in one day. These are all competitors, of course. For each, they're all competing with each other for the Big Brother prize, which now they now think is nothing, which it is. But anyway, little do they know that one more person is on the way. Tonight, the man of mystery we've all been waiting for, Mr X, is going to enter the building.
Yeah. Oh man, I oh, mean, no, 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 it's, I, I've been doing it all my life. I'm picking on you. Your oh, no, 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 no. A lot of my mates know me as Zach. Zach, okay. So, um, yeah, but. Zoran's the way to. Yeah, Zoran's yeah. it. Just like Zorin. Lauren, but with a Z. Zoran. Yeah, oh, it's easy to remember, no. I reckon. Zoran. Yeah. Bizarre. It's, it's true. Welcome back. You're watching Game On, a Big Brother special. Is game on going off or what? There are more surprises to come, so hold your breath because you're about to see another Australian Big Brother first as four young Australians are introduced to an experience they will never forget. Remember, they have been blindfolded since they appeared on stage here. They do not know how far they've travelled or where they've travelled to. They don't know what is happening and they don't know if they are anywhere near the Big Brother house. As far as they're concerned, they may as well be on an entirely different planet. Move inside. Ow. Slowly. Okay, stop. Right. Turn around. Can we take your mask off? Don't take your masks off. Okay. Wait till Big Brother instructs you to do so. Masks. Oh my god. Welcome to the white room. <laughs> oh god. Mm. I knew it. What is this do? You are all about to learn why you are here. <laughs> then it will be up to you to decide whether you choose to stay <laughs> to leave. <laughs> Listen carefully. Big Brother is giving one of you one last chance to become a housemate. Whichever one of you is willing to remain in the white room the longest will receive a wild card into the Big Brother house. Do we get food? Listen carefully. Sorry. You may leave at any time. There's a button in the middle of the room. To leave, simply press the button and you can go home. But think carefully, once you have pressed the button, you cannot change your mind. From tonight, if you choose to remain, you will have no contact with the outside world how you entertain yourselves will be up to you. <laughs> this is so cool. Not. <laughs> this, is, this is fine, this is fine. Yeah, You'll beautiful. be given no more than what you see in front of you now. Oh, shit. <laughs> if any one of you wishes to leave, now is the time to say so. Do we have to keep wearing white? Yeah. We have no clothes. Demi. Yes. Do you wish to stay? Of or course. do you wish to leave? I wish to stay. The choice is yours. We have to wear Seriously. I'm staying. Give me my shoes, bro. Harrison. <laughs> yes. Do you wish to stay or leave? I'll stay, thanks, big brother. Cruise. Stay or leave? Stay. <laughs> Kara, do you choose to stay or do you choose to leave? Stay. You've all made your choice. Is this all our clothes? For now, oh my God. that is all. Thanks, big brother. This can't be all our clothes. We can, we can swap clothes. Can I like... So whoever this showers, is, this is I a, get... This oh, no, no, no. They must be some clothes over Excellent. there. Excellent. Prolonged boredom. Can things. we have a look through those bags? Rebecca, let's have a look around there. What no, are these? Actually, we've got our names on it. We've got our names on it. Oh, really? Yeah. What is that one? What is this? 
Oh, please be close. Who is that? What is that? Oh, is it? Oh, please, oh, you have more what? That's yours. Thank you, sweetie. Oh my god, there's no clothes. <laughs> oh, sick. No, there's clothes. There's clothes. <laughs> there is. At least there's some red in here. What is? What's okay, this? We got something. Do you get red stuff? We got red. Wow, pads. We have pads. <laughs> pads. Where's the toilet? We probably need Oh, we pads. have a private toilet. Oh, f <laughs> We have a razor blade. Can you guys give up now? <laughs> Oh. oh my god. <laughs> my family I, 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 great. Up. Okay, so we understand it is last man standing in that room. Okay? It looks like it's kind of weird now and it's gonna get weirder because it's just a mental challenge. So that is a big twist. How long would you hold out in the monochromatic monotony of the white room? Will any of them last the distance? Well, while our white-garbed housemate contenders try to adapt to their new environment, I have someone very important for you to meet. You've heard about him a lot over the past few days, and you know his presence will have an enormous impact on the household. So would you please welcome Mr. X. Now, we need to know where you're from, why you're here. Tell me, what do you know? I'm from Sydney. I've flown in from Canada about two weeks ago. Um, why did you fly in from Canada? Because there's somebody that I know in the house. So you got a phone call? Absolutely, yeah. A very mysterious phone call. All right. Now, we should say your name is Billy. It is, yeah. So you were in Canada. What were you doing there? Um, living. I was in the middle of a trip backpacking around the world. And I got brought back to Australia for this. So. Okay, so you got a phone call. Yeah. Did you know who the phone call was from? I had an idea to start with, but it was... What did, the, what did the person say? They actually lied to me the whole time, the first time we spoke. Lied or just didn't tell you everything? Uh, lied. Really? Yes. That's a big accusation. What oh, did he say? Uh, a bit of a stretch of the truth, anyway. Okay. Told me they were going to be shooting a TV series or a show in Canada. They were looking for some Aussies and they got my number from a colleague and that was that was, that was the first the phone call yeah and you said you were interested absolutely yeah. and then what was the second phone call the second phone call was the offer to come back to australia yeah um i had to leave within four days or five days i think it was yeah and i had to give him an answer within an hour oh was it a, a tough decision just yeah just to be able to say goodbye to everyone and not tell anyone where i was going not well call. you didn't know where you were going no. you had no idea you didn't know who this person was and he said I'll pay for your ticket back to Australia. Yeah. And you said yes. Yeah, I said yes. <laughs> okay. Now, did he know a lot about you, this person? He knew a lot. That's what sort of gave it away um, the second time we spoke. Why? I dropped a couple of hints saying that he knew a lot about me. Um, and I actually asked him if it had anything to do with this. And he again said, no, it has nothing to do with this. Right. And then he called me back again the next time and I agreed to come back to Australia, not knowing what I was coming back for. And did you know how Big Brother happened to think of ringing you? I do know now, yeah. What happened? Um, all the stars aligned and they found me. But how, do you, how did he come <laughs> across your name? What made you pop into his mind? I'm a contestant. One of the people in the Big Brother house? Yes. What happened? Do you um, know? You might know a little I bit I do. When you, when you go in for Big Brother, you fill out an application form yep. and there are many, many, many questions. And one of them is, could you say the names of people you've been in relationships with previously? That's right. Now, one of the people in the house had your name as their first person <laughs> in a previous relationship. That's correct. That was yeah. Haley. Now, it was an absolute coincidence that you had applied for Big Brother the previous year. Yeah, two series ago. Yeah. Two series ago. So when the people organising Big Brother and all of the selection saw your name on Haley's list, they thought, this is too good to be true. We are going to ring him, find out where he is. Yep. Unfortunately for us, you're in Canada. <laughs> but fortunately for us, you said, yeah, yeah, I'm in. So you're all the way back here. How long was your relationship with Haley? It was only three or four months, but it was long distance, so... Because you were living in different cities, yeah. but it only ended because you were living in different cities. Yeah, you could say that. But you have actually kept in touch yeah. 
prior to lockdown, yeah. prior to all of this, you've kept in touch as friends or yeah. hoping to rekindle no, a relationship? Yeah, we still spoke a bit. I spoke to her two weeks before I got the phone call about this, about meeting up in Europe when we were both going to be there. So and does her boyfriend know? No, he probably wouldn't know me. Does he know that you exist? Maybe. I don't know. It depends how much she's told him about me. But So you don't know if he knows that this communication has continued? No idea. <laughs> but don't get the wrong idea, guys. No, we're not getting the wrong idea, we're just getting lots of I ideas. Know, I know. All right, so your task is to go into the house. Hayley has no idea that you're coming in. No idea. No one knows about the relationship between Hayley and Andrew in the house. Yeah. And then you're going to enter the house, and we don't know if Andrew knows who you are. And Hayley still speaks of her time with you as the greatest day of her life. <laughs> Must have been a good day. <laughs> it was a great day. <laughs> All right, Billy. Are you, uh, you've got challenges. You can't I let do. anyone know. No. Can't let anyone know about this relationship. No. All right. No. Can I first say hi to my family too? Because no one knows I'm back either, so. <laughs> yeah, suddenly you're back. Hi, Mum, hi, Dad. Hey, I'm back in the country. Yeah. But I've locked away. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you're extraordinarily brave. Thank you very much. And I think uh, you're going <laughs> to go fabulously. Thank you. Do you know what your mission is? I do. What is it? Can't tell you. You can't tell me? God, you can't tell me. Yes, you can. Big Brother's saying, yes, you can, yes, you can. Um, to go into the house and just put pressure on their relationship. Not to break it up, just to make things a little bit more interesting. Spice it up. You don't think it's spiced up enough already? That's what I'm here for. Are you, are you going to try, just person to person, are you going to try and steal her? Of course. You are? No, I wouldn't do that to someone. You don't have a girlfriend now, do I you? I don't, know. You be good. I'm always good, Greta. Be good, be bad, be good. Yeah, okay, now take this in. It's beautiful. Now you know that other people Thank have you. come in tonight, so it'll be subtle for you to enter. Yeah, absolutely. Because no one knows how many extra people are coming in. Yep. You do us proud, because this is just absolutely <laughs> planets aligning, isn't it? It is. Okay, in you go, yeah. Billy. Thank good you. luck. Have a great time. Yeah. Thank you. Well, obviously, we're going to be back after the break to just have every camera in the house focusing on Haley's head as uh, he walks in. It's good, isn't it? See you in a minute. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Game On Special. What an interesting night of twists and turns tonight. Two new housemates have already interrupted the bliss of the Big Brother Oasis. Four others dressed in white have entered a parallel white dimension that will test their metal like nothing ever has. But you're just in time for the Big Brother bombshell. The situation sounds like a daytime soapy, so allow me to recap. Our golden couple, Hayley and Andrew, are on a mission to keep their relationship a secret from the rest of the household. But a bubbling pot of trouble is about to land on their pretty heads in the shape of Billy. Haley's ex-boyfriend. Haley has no idea he's joining the house. Andrew doesn't know that Billy is still fond of Haley. Everyone thinks Billy is still overseas, but he's in fact standing right outside the big brother door about to enter the house. Now, he didn't quite articulate the mission. He is not there to break them up. He is there quite simply to try and force them to reveal their relationship. Because remember, those two have a challenge. They have to hide their relationship if they succeed, then both are allowed to stay in the house. If they fail, one of them must go. So Billy is simply there to put pressure on and try to make them fail. Let's cross to the house and see what's going to happen. Billy. Billy, how you going? Oh, yeah. Billy? Jamie. Jamie, Billy, mate. Sorry, how are you going? Oh, you're Billy, still nice going. Nice to meet you. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. I'm Hayley. Nice nice how are you? Good to meet you. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Billy. Nice to meet you. Billy. Billy. Nice to meet you. Billy. Billy. Nice to meet you. Billy. Billy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Billy. Billy. Nice to meet you. 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 Billy. Oh, what, what, a chick coming into six blokes, no worries. Guy going into six. Good, man. Good. 
What's going on? I want one. Where are you from? Where are you from? Sydney. Sydney. Hey, who else came in tonight too? Uh, yeah. And in the green dress. What's your name? Susanna. Susanna. You guys just came in as well? Uh, I'm in Australia. Yeah. Oh, really? That's a killer, isn't it? Sydney. Uh, 23. 23. 23. There you go. You feel married. Very single, mate. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. 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 are you guys? <laughs> Do you feel threatened? No, just in general. Nick is a bit of a like, yeah, most, most of them are fine solos, so, so yeah. there you go. Good on you, boys. So, what do you do for a job? I'm um, insurance broker. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. What? You look like um, Kind of about five years, I think. Mean, You've got a labourer or something like that. Yeah. There you go, insurance broker. Yeah. That's a fair. Yeah. Good on you, that's yeah, good. How long have you been for? Uh, nearly four and a half years, five years, I think. Mean. Jesus. If you, if you looked at you, you'd say, yeah, like he's a, like a labourer or like a chick. You'd go, oh, Yeah, mate. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I'll do a bit of landscaping that with the boys. Oh, yeah, 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 mate. Yeah, yeah, let's go for your life, mate. Yeah, a bit of landscaping that with the boys. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's good. So, how's it? How old are you? Have you done a tour or what? Want to do a tour of the joint? You come out, Jamie, do a tour? I'm not. Do we have to stay here, do we, or not? Sorry, mate. Well, I'm going to go get a change. Do we? 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 Do we're sleeping together. I don't know what that display of behaviour actually was. It was kind of baboon like, really. I guess that's stress. Okay, she's coping well, trying to pull herself together, but desperate for his attention. How old are you? Okay, the existence of the White Room inhabitants will be revealed to the housemates tonight. So don't miss a moment of it. Join Mike Goldman on Up Late at 11.20. Plus, you can catch up on all the bits and bobs with live streaming on the Big Brother website or on 3 Mobile. And tomorrow we have a special one-hour daily show where you get to see the fallout from all of tonight's excitement. It's been a biggie. Good night. <laughs>